is not a political gathering, but the wedding ceremony of the last daughter of the former military president, General Ibrahim Babangida in Mina, the capital of Niger State. <laughs> The occasion attracted high-profile politicians from the ruling party, APC, and the major opposition party, the PDP, including some serving and former governors. The occasion is a gathering of political heavyweights in Nigeria. Some of the dignitaries include former President Goodluck Jonathan, the Senate President Bukula Saraki, the Speaker of the House of Representatives Yakub Dugara, and the former Governor of Lagos State, Senator Bola Ahmed Tunibu. Some dignitaries who attended the occasion described the former military president as a bridge builder. The reason why they are all in Mina to witness the wedding of his daughter. Well, as you know, he has uh, special qualities, special characteristics which uh, stood him out. And of course, he was uh, president of this country for about eight years, uh, during which he put a number of uh, things in place, many of which we still remember uh, today. He has a special kind of charisma and a way of relating very well to all, whether high or low. And as you can see, the gathering here today uh, comprises people from all sections of the country, uh, both high and low, and that is President or former President Ibrahim Babangida, General Ibrahim Babangida for you. We are grateful to his contribution to Nigeria as a nation and to the development of Abuja, our capital, and what he has done to Nigeria can never be forgotten. Patience, perseverance, fear of God, and doing things that are right, not that are popular. While some of the dignitaries applaud the leadership qualities of the former military president, others view the occasion as an opportunity for politicking. This is a reflection of the goodwill he generated. Uh, in the course of his leadership. Uh, unfortunately, our country leaders are imprisoned by their pasts. People like Babangira, General Babangira, makes an exception. Uh, and therefore, when such uh, occasions arise, people come to felicitate, to renew contacts, and do some politicking because we are in democracy where the air is free. There is nobody in Nigeria from all walks of life that did not come here today. It is very clear that the man have left a legacy that it is next to impossible. The man is more than humane. The man is down to us. The man lives for people. Although President Babangila left the presidency over a decade ago, political watchers say the caliber of politicians who flock around the former military president speaks volume about the respect he still